time now for another installment of Broadway Balances America, our series that takes you behind the scenes of some of the most beloved Broadway musicals as they travel across the country and into your local theaters. Today, Balancing Act correspondent Amber Milt jumps into the breathtaking world of Pippin. I love this show. I know. Ben Vereen won a Tony for his performance in the original production more than 40 years ago. Now the show has been updated with a woman in the part of leading player. I like that. It's the story of a young prince Pippin on a death-defying journey to find meaning in his existence. Will he choose a happy but simple life mm -hmm. or will he risk everything for a singular flash of glory? Indeed, ladies, this captivating performance won the 2013 Tony for Best Musical Revival, and it continues to wow audiences today with its beloved score, sizzling choreography, and compelling story. I grew up in New York City and I saw Pippin when I was eight years old, I think three times. And I loved this show. It made such an impression on me as a young person. And then I fell in love with the score and the soundtrack became part of my life. Join us, come and waste an hour the opportunity to actually touch it and revive it and bring it back was almost like making a gift. You know, it's, as a director, you're like, I just want to make the perfect present for all those people who are waiting 40 years later to re-experience what this show is. And what an experience it is, reimagined and updated by Paulus, who was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People this year. Pippin invites you into a magical world, literally full of ups and downs, as the leading player, this time played by a woman, leads the young prince through a soul-searching odyssey. There's something powerful about a woman being the leader of this troupe, and something about a woman seducing this young man into uh, a journey of life that felt um, fresh and new and powerful. And that you can finish a little bit, yeah. And the only issue here... So you're the woman behind all the amazing newly added aerial acrobatics is Gypsy Snyder. Circus is a very particular way of moving, and especially the way that my company, The Seven Fingers, moves and does acrobatics, it's very urban. So now we really had to come back and bring it into that incredible Bob Fosse theatrical, exactly. intense, exactly. sensual way of moving. It was thrilling, it was exciting, and it was a challenge. And the result is breathtaking, a true collaboration. It's a team effort, and if you really want the best out of a team, you have to make every single person feel like they have a voice, that they have a stake. And I challenge everyone at every step of the way. Now this show is all about balance, from the nimble agility of the performers to the women behind the production who have to balance their lives in a busy and demanding industry. The great thing about being in the theater is you can bring your personal life and everything about your personal life can inform what you're making as an artist and you can bring your kids to work. You know, it's so funny because we talk a lot about stress in, in, in our society nowadays and I didn't really understand what that meant until I, I really had a life-threatening illness. and. I realized that like there's a big difference between being stressed and being excited. And if you love what you do and you put all your passion and your energy and your time into it, that can be stressful or it can be exciting. And I've just decided that whatever I do in my life, my passion has to not be in any way negative. It has to be positive. I have to really love what I'm doing and I have to show my children that I love what I'm doing and that, um, and that our passions don't become our sacrifices. They become everything we ever dreamt and more. Passion remains a center of this production, still captivating audiences more than 40 years after it was written. It comes down to the story of this young man who's trying to figure out what to do with his life and is trying different things and finally he has to come to terms with the, the fact that nothing is perfect in life and you have to make difficult choices and so on and 
you know, this is, this is all our stories. So I think on some level, it, it speaks to each member of the audience, and, and thus it seems to have staying power as a, as a show. And the phantoms of the night will fade into the past. I think we've all had a moment in our life whether you're 18 or like 40, like me, my, a mom in my 40s, or if you're, you know, uh, someone in their 80s, you've always thought like, should I run away with a circus? Should I have run away with a circus? Thank God I didn't run away right. with a circus. <laughs> and this show sort of makes you think about those choices you made in your life and uh, revisit them and experience them, experience them sort of in the moment in the show. Our lives are so short and we have so little time that we should enjoy it and share it. And, and I, I, you know, this is gonna sound so cheesy, but when people come and see Pippin, I want them to be touched. I want them to be motivated to live life with more passion, more truth, and with more daring. Morning glow is here. You ain't seen nothing yet, folks. Acrobats are so talented, but with my fear of heights, I'm glad I didn't have to get up there. And if you're ready to see the theatrics for yourself, Pippin's National Tour just kicked off. You can head to our website and look for the link that says Broadway Balances America, where we'll have all the show information, tour dates, and more. What an amazing show between Diana Paulus Vision and Gypsy Snyder with her team of acrobats. It's a thrilling revival. It really is. Talk about balance. These ladies are both busy working moms who managed to find a way to do what they love and still maintain their home life. They said it truly is a balancing act. Yeah, we love that Hello. word. <laughs> but so worth it, they say. I mean, juggling professional and personal and finding the bliss in both. Sounds familiar <laughs> <laughs> and like our show. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that Steven Swartz originally wrote Pippin when he was in college wow. and later went on to compose the score for Wicked? Talk about talent. You're not kidding. We hope you go see the show for yourselves when it comes to a stage near you. The national tour just kicked off. Broadway Balances America brought to you by Broadway Across America, bringing the best of Broadway to a city near you.